Good morning, y'all. It is super early. It is 6.27. We about to hurry up and walk to this bus stop. Oh, good morning, y'all. We finna go to Springfield for the teacher. Uh, we going to a protest for for the budget cuts and stuff for school. I have the shirt on my head because I'm about to sleep on the bus. It's three hours away. But I just wanted to come and say good morning so y'all know where we at. And I'm about to go because they're going to be waiting on me. So, like, I got to hurry up. Is you ready? Is you ready? That's cute. I know, right? That's why I got it. It's, it's, it's boring. <laughs> Oh, this camera preview though. Thank you. You're welcome. Can oh, that's what you, you know. Oh, I just mm -hmm. see the red dot. Yeah, that's what I said it's a cool one. Look at all the people that's here to go to Springfield. Oh, you gotta be the tall one. <laughs> like, <laughs> they got channel two behind us. We finna be on the next. I, I hate that I have this wrap on. <laughs> like, now I gotta take the wrap off. No, you don't have to. Can you cry yourself? They got food. Because it is early. You gotta be extra. <laughs> Oh, and I hurt my knee. Ow. Ow. <laughs> I hurt my knee. I'm going to listen. That last bump of the roll off had me. This is fun.
beautiful though. trying to be cute. Richard Yates. <laughs> oh, Alexis. Are you closer to him? Here you go. Having this stuff out there. <laughs> oh, look at the front. They're over there. <laughs> That's why I'm surprised Brian wore white shoes. Where are you with the signs? <laughs> okay. Very glad to see you guys. I was hoping. Okay. I hope I can remember. Yeah, yeah. This is seeing, man. Good. I'm glad. I'm not like that. I'm hungry because I'm on like some medication that makes me hungry. Okay. Okay. See y'all later. Yeah, we're. <laughs> no, it's a video. I was just trying to get it with the. We need your money. It's dark in here.
I'll take a photo in later. You wait in there. You got it. That's the time. I feel like I'm not doing a good job portraying what the important issues are in this video. I'm sorry. <laughs> Me either. I'm trying my best to show you the importance. We just got here. My teacher. No, I need Oh, no, they're doing like the old. Uh, really? Mm -hmm. I don't want to blow the hack that they talk to you. You know, these three key points. <laughs> yeah. Three key points. Remember to bang on the podium. <laughs> yeah, the bang on the podium, bro. Have you seen that? Yeah. One. Oh, when he gave that speech? Yeah. 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 Who's better at my money? Yeah. Who's better at my money? Ooh. Who's better at my money? Ooh. Who's better at my money?
thank you very much for coming down and fighting back. Let's see what we learned at our teach out. If I recall, we were doing a variety of different chants. So here's my question. What do we want? seeing our students being harmed. We have had enough. Yeah. what is good for good, what is right for our community to invest in higher education. Enough of the disinvestment in higher education, it's time to, to invest. It is my distinct pleasure to introduce the MC for today. William McMurray needs no real introduction. He is a battler for social justice. He is a battler for economic justice. He is a battler for education. It is my great pleasure to introduce to you my friend, our friend, higher education's friend, William McNary. John Miller for that challenging introduction. <laughs> now my understanding is that you all have gone beyond the college well, school rooms and brought your curriculum to the Capitol. <laughs> so I want to thank you all for doing such an amazing job of educating us. And would y'all do me a favor and give a great big round of applause to your outstanding leader, John Miller. <laughs> People. There are people that make things happen, there are people that watch things happen, and then there are people that don't know what's happening. Yeah. <laughs> I can't think of any place else in the world I would rather be on a Thursday afternoon than right here. Yeah. Aggressive, progressive, and conservative, compassionate conservatives, and everybody in between. People who are not just content to sit around and rationalize and strategize. Yeah. 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 participants for the movement for social justice and social change. Democracy is a verb, not just a noun. Yeah. Yeah. Because you all are gathered here today that our children will learn better, our students will learn better, our communities will be more secure, and our economy will be stronger because of the work that the activists and the advocates here today have done, are doing, but most importantly, what you all are getting ready to do. You all ready to SOS, save our schools? Yeah. Save our services? Yeah. Save our state? Yeah. You all make me believe you all after a while. This is a higher education rally. We believe that a fair, responsible budget with adequate revenues, not only to fund education, but human services, health care, and public safety and other priorities. Yeah. But we yeah. are here today to support higher education, not only because it is the right thing to do, but because it is the fiscally responsible thing to do. Yeah. Investment in higher education makes more sense now than ever. It is the key not only to deep thinking, but also higher earning. And as the higher education graduation rate grows in the state, the unemployment rate goes down. Woo! plays a particularly important role in helping low-income rural 
and urban students move up the economic ladders of the middle class and beyond. So we need to be investing more in higher education and not less. We should be fully funding our public colleges and universities. They not only have a positive impact on the students who attend them, but they are an economic hub for the state. Professors and staff, they own homes near the campuses. Students rent apartments and buy books and supplies. Professors and students are consumers at the restaurants and the record shops. Do they still have record shops? Yeah. <laughs> and the picture shows. Do they still have picture shows? <laughs> and other forms of entertainment. And so to help us make this case, I'm going to call up a few of our champions and our allies. She, to start off, we're going to start off with who? <laughs> I know what to start off with. From, we will take this campaign from Chicago to Champaign. From Carbondale to Collinsville. And to start off as a former public school math teacher in the Edwardsville Public School, she's also a former college math instructor with Southern Illinois University in Edwardsville. She is new to the legislature, but she is not new when it comes to fighting for our students. Ladies yeah! Stewart! Yeah! and thank you all for being here. Um, I'm, I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to talk about the importance of higher education. Uh, I'm going to talk about SIU Edwardsville. Go Cougars! Yeah. Uh, SIU Edwardsville is vital. Uh, it's vital to me as a resident of Edwardsville. It's, uh, it's vital to me as a resident of the 112th district in the entire community. And it's vital to our students. Uh, cuts, cuts in our yeah. funding. A budget! No! A budget! No! A budget! When do we want it? Now! Dan Biss is a math professor who has spent his entire career finding solutions to complex problems. He's fighting for an Illinois that puts people first. He's fighting for Illinois where we take the for sale side off of government. So it not only works for the corporation, but it works for all of us. We all do better when we all do better. Ladies and gentlemen, candidate for governor of the state of Illinois, Senator Dan Biss. Good afternoon. There is nothing worse in a career in politics than following William McNary in front of a microphone. Today, I am fired up. <laughs> I don't think Bruce Rauner heard you. He's on the second floor back there. Let me try again. Good afternoon. So how, how's Bruce Rauner doing? Really? You don't think he's doing a great job? <laughs> Let me ask you this. Who thinks Bruce Rauner's doing a great job? I can tell you who. Bruce Rauner! Universities in Wisconsin think that Bruce Rauner is doing a great job. Universities in Iowa and Indiana and Missouri, they think Bruce Rauner is a great job sending our young people out of Illinois, making our colleges and universities unaffordable, slashing programs, harming faculty, sending people fleeing this state, hurting our families, hurting our communities, hurting our economy. So let me ask you again, how's Bruce Rauner doing back there? But here's the thing, here's the thing, it's not even that complicated. There are hard problems in Illinois, but there's also really easy problems. Let me give you an example. Should we have a budget? Yes! Should we fund our universities? Yes! Should we fund our community colleges? Yes! Should we fund our math grants? Yes! But wait a second, should we even need math grants? No! Why? Because should tuition be free? Yes! Thank you very much. This is a simple question. This is a question of how we invest in our communities. This is a question of what our priorities are. This is a question of how we build a strong economy for everybody, not just a couple of billionaires. And this is a question of who government's working for. We were in there in the rotunda. We were chanting. We were demanding. We were yelling. And some people took me aside and said, hey, Daniel. Tell me what the legislators are going to do to fix this. Yeah. And 
God damn it, I am gonna fight as hard as I possibly can. But you know what? You know what? You know what? The solutions aren't coming from that building right now. The solutions are coming from you right now. The solutions are coming from the streets right now. The solutions are coming from the grassroots right now. The solutions are coming from the movement of people that is rising up across the state and across this country to take our state back. That's where change comes from. That's how you build a government that works for us. And so I ask you this, are you ready to fight? Yes! Are you ready to fight? Yes! Are you ready to fight? Yes! Are we ready to win? Yes! Let's do it. 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 Let's do it.
Um, I hope you enjoy it and I hope you guys see the struggles and understand what we're fighting for. All the schools, all the state and public universities and colleges and community colleges that we're trying to get a budget. And we no longer want Bruce around in the house. He is not doing his job. He doesn't care about us. He only cares about himself and his pockets. So, we don't want him in the house anymore. We just need someone who's going to care about us and our higher education. We're all aiming for one thing, a degree, so that we can have the white picket fence and the house and the the dream life, you know what I'm saying, like the American dream. We're all aiming for that in our own ways. We just need to get our degree to start it off. So we need this budget to be passed or else we're all going to be in a bad position or not being able to go to school because not all of us could afford private colleges or universities. So, yes, I hope you guys take this and do what you can. Spread it. Let everyone know. Talk about it write about it, call him about it, just do everything you can to help in your own way. Thank you and see you in the next video. Bye!